everyone and welcome back to my channel after what has been a long summer hiatus. As you may have gathered from the title of this video, I am pregnant. Today I am 18 weeks and five days today and we are absolutely thrilled, obviously. <laughs> um, I'm not sure Caleb is going to be quite so thrilled when the baby comes, but we're just going to have to <laughs> work around it. Um, obviously I'm in my second trimester. So this video is really going to be about the symptoms um, that I had during my first trimester, how we found out we were pregnant, and then after that I'm going to be doing every second week videos. So I'm going to be doing uh, on the odd weeks. So I'm going to be doing 19 weeks, I'm going to be doing 21 weeks and so forth. To the very beginning in May of this year, John and I, my husband <laughs> obviously, <laughs> decided that we would like a sibling for Caleb and I would have loved it to be between two and two and a half if we could do anything about that. Between two and two and a half years old I thought would be a really good age gap for Caleb's next sibling. For the age Caleb was going to be when his next sibling came along. So I decided that before any of that I was going to have to lose a little bit of weight. I had gotten down to my pre-pregnancy weight. Obviously I'm just a I'm bigger person um, to begin with so I, but I had got down to my pre-pregnancy weight and then I gained seven pounds when I was breastfeeding Caleb because there was a time I was just hungry all the time. I was eating all around me and I wanted to at least get down to what I was and I would prefer to get down another couple of pounds. So I really wanted to lose say a stone, stone and a half or, or between 14 and 21 pounds depending on where you are when you see this. And I work in pounds which is really weird because um, I've just been Americanized I suppose. <laughs> I work in pounds. So that's what I really wanted to get down to. So I was going to the gym, I was working out. I'm kind of rushing through this because I've already filmed this video and my camera didn't do it and I'm trying to remember everything I had said really well in the first take that the camera didn't do. So I really do apologize. Um, so yeah, my period was due on the 5th. I didn't have a period. I woke up feeling really nauseous and I went, mm, I think I'm pregnant, but at the same time that happened way too quick. So I can't really be sure. Uh, the next day I bought a pregnancy test and on the 7th of June of this year I took the pregnancy test and it came out positive. I went to my husband who was still asleep and I said, we're pregnant! And he was like, what? <laughs> he knew I was taking the test. Um, I think he thought I might have been joking. <laughs> Um, so I rung my doctor at, at half eight when they had opened and I got in for half nine. It was just a whirlwind, just finding out at home I was pregnant and then being like really straight away sent to the doctor. So I went to the doctor and she just said congratulations and I said, don't you want to take a pregnancy test? And she said, the ones at home are so sophisticated that if they say you're pregnant, you're pregnant. Like, <laughs> that's it. But I was like, mm, no, I want you to take one too because I'd already taken one at home. And so we took a pregnancy test and it was it was coming up, but it wasn't coming up really fast or anything. But she was taking blood anyway. She sent a little portion off to test for my HCG levels and they were, did come back normal. So it all turned out to be all right. Um, symptom wise, I was completely nauseous um, all day, every day, just nauseous feeling like I'm, I'm going to get sick uh, but I didn't actually like I don't get morning morning sickness I get all day nausea <laughs> now obviously I did like physically get sick a couple of times but in the grand scheme of my entire first trimester I think I threw up like five times which isn't a lot at all. I just feel sick all the time. I wake up feeling sick. If I don't eat straight away I feel sick. Then I feel sick because I'm bloated and bloating was a big thing this time and yeah I was just nauseous. <laughs> I was literally nauseous all day long and so tired. I kept taking my iron. Last time when I was pregnant with Kayla they told me to come off my iron because the prenatal vitamins, the pregnant care, pregnancy vitamins I was taking had iron inside it. But as a vegetarian I'm just not getting the iron that I need. So I refused to come off them this time because uh, I had to go back on them when I was pregnant with Kayla anyway. So I thought maybe I wouldn't be as tired. Oh my god no. I think I was more tired. I don't know whether it's I forgot how tired I was when I was pregnant with Kayla or the fact that I'm pregnant and running around after a toddler that I was just lying down in bed, he'd be playing and 
I would just, we just do quiet games <laughs> and I was just really, really exhausted and so nauseous. Um, I did have to get sick bands and I wore them all day from about eight weeks to 14 weeks when I kind of stopped feeling nauseous all the time. When I kind of had it under control and my body was kind of coming into the second trimester and it was kind of just all easing off. Which was great because when I was pregnant with Caleb I was nauseous until I was 18 weeks and I thought, I kept telling myself, just get to 13 weeks, just get to 13 weeks and it'll be grand and it wasn't. <laughs> they lied, everyone lied. Um, so it went on to 18 weeks and I was lucky this time. Had our dating scan, I actually had to do two scans, um, not because they couldn't see the baby, they actually got a really good view the first time. It's that when I went, I thought I was 11 weeks and she told me I was 10 weeks and four days and they do not like to give you a due date until you are 10 weeks and five days so I have to wait a few weeks and come back again. So our um, EDD that we got from the doctor was the uh, was February the 12th which is the exact same EDD that we had for Caleb which is just crazy. Um, but our official due date now after having the two dating scans is the 16th of February that is two days before Caleb's second birthday which is crazy. That is pretty much all of my first trial trimester symptoms. Other than that, everything has been really good. My blood pressure has been a little high. It's not high, but it is on the very top uh, range. Um, and I think, and I'm hoping, it's because every time I've had my blood pressure taken in this pregnancy, which has been three times, I have, well, twice I had Caleb with me and he was getting fussy and I just wanted the whole thing to be over with and I hate getting my blood pressure taken. So I think that I was just a bit stressed. The second time I had been aware that the first time it had been high and I was anxious about it not being high and I think I overstressed. So I'm really hoping that's the reason. Uh, I have been trying to incorporate like a healthy diet and some exercise in. So I'm really hoping that it's come down a little bit. Um, yeah, because otherwise I will have to be monitored uh, for it. I will have to take a glucose tolerance test. I did the exact same with Caleb when your BMI is uh, 30 or over, or is it maybe 29 or over, you have to get it tested. You're having an anatomy scan, which is also called an anomaly, an anomaly, an anonymous, an anomaly scan. I think if I say it quick enough, it sounds like I'm saying the word correctly. Uh, it's something that I did kind of request because my sister was born with a hole in her heart. We are super excited um, for little second baby to come. If you haven't already, please give me a big thumbs up for the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye.